Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about books, 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 books. Actually, today what we're going to be talking about is sorting through run of glass characters into their Hogwarts houses. So let's get right into it. Let's start with my girl, Aelin. Now you can say Aelin has a little bit from all the houses. I mean, she's brave like a Gryffindor, smart like a Ravenclaw, loyal like a Hufflepuff, but she is a Slytherin. That is my sorting. Now, there are other characters in this list that you can argue with me, that you can try to convince me otherwise, but Aelin is not one of them. She's a Slytherin. Pride, check. Resourceful, check. Cunning and witty, check. Determined, plus she's intelligent, which is, which is not only a Ravenclaw trait, but also a Slytherin trait. So the sorting hat says Aelin is Slytherin. You can't convince me otherwise, so don't try. Up next we have Rowan. And now, Rowan, you, when you first think Rowan, you're like, silver hair, green eyes, you just, you see Slytherin. But for me, Rowan is a Gryffindor. Rowan doesn't think before he acts sometimes when it comes to the people he cares about. I think he can be a bit rash and crazy. And then he's also obviously very brave. So Rowan is a Gryffindor. Next is my baby Dorian. And Dorian is one that I can be convinced otherwise, but f I think he's a Gryffindor. He stood up to his dad even before he was Mr. Phantom Hands and before he decided to be with a witch. I think he's very brave and very daring. When I was looking like all the house straights and all that stuff, I found there's four quotes for each house that really, I feel like, describe what the house is. And for Gryffindor, the quote was, do what is right, which I think is very Dorian. And Rowan, which we were talking about in the last, which was the last character we were talking about. They both do what's right, but they also always protect. So for me, Dorian is a Gryffindor, which is kind of a conflict because I'm a Slytherin and you know, those are like opposing, like, enemy houses or whatever but you know opposites attract up next is kale now there's one thing that drives kale throughout all his books and that is his loyalty to dorian so kale for me is a hufflepuff and yes he is brave and daring and he's does a lot of good stuff but for me he's a hufflepuff because what drives him is Dorian. Also, he's hardworking. I mean, he's the youngest captain of the war guard. He has dedication, also, the youngest captain of the guard. Fair play, patience, and loyalty. He is a Hufflepuff. Next, we have my girl Manon. I love Manon. She is me. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason, I identify with her, even though I feel like we're not exactly the same. I feel like I have some stuff like her but we're not that we have some similarities obviously i'm gonna make her a slytherin i don't think there's any questions as to why or any explanation needed manon is a slytherin we have irene and she is gonna be our first ravenclaw irene became the top nurse and the healer of high to be in like two years she figured out how to cure Baal. Baal? Baal? I don't know how you say it. She's creative, she's intelligent, she's, she has so much knowledge. So I think that she spells out Ravenclaw. And I love her and I think she deserves way more love than she gets. So let's get on with it. Irene stands where you at. I'm one of them. My favorite bad boy turned simp. Lorcan, Lorcan, <laughs> I'm just gonna do one thing. <laughs> Next, a lead. Now, a lead is another hard one, like kind of like Aelin, because she has so many traits from all the houses. But I think I'm gonna sort Eli or a lead 
her name is the most confusing, into Ravenclaw. Because despite not reading, she was able to survive all these years. And I'm sorry, but that takes brains. I think she is very smart and kind of like a Luna kind of character that you don't expect them to be in Ravenclaw, but they surprise you. Up next, we have Aedian. I basically think Aedian is the Fae version of Ron. I mean, they're both loyal to the Chosen One. And their temper and jealousy gets them into trouble sometimes. Tell me that they're not the same person. Not physically, but just think about it and let me know. My favorite sh shifter, Lysandra. Now, Lysandra was not hard because I think she is a Slytherin through, th through and through. There's a reason why her and Aelin didn't get along at the beginning, but now they're best friends. Because Slytherins take time to pick their friends. But when they do, they pick the best. So, hey, maybe that's why her and Aedian don't work. Lysandra's a Slytherin and Aedian is a Gryffindor. That's a very hard relationship to make work. Only me and Dorian have been proven to really be a successful Slither-Gryffindor uh, Slither relationship, you know? But yeah, she's a Slytherin, anyways. I'm gonna do Gaber and Fenris in the same because they're both the same, but I am also convinced that they can be something else. So I'm gonna sort it into Hufflepuff, but if you guys have any other opinions, let me know where you think Gabriel and Fenris can go. But I think their main trait is loyalty because they were loyal to Maeve, they were following her, whatever. But then they saw the better option, the better, the nicer thing, the right thing, and they followed Aelin, loyal to her. So I think they're both Hufflepuffs, but I could be persuaded otherwise. Because I do know that Fenris has some Slytherin traits in him, and I feel like Gabriel has some Gryffindor in him too. I guess like father, like son, but you know. So anyways, I sort Gabriel and Fenris into Hufflepuff, but I can be convinced otherwise. Evangeline. Evangeline is one of my favorite characters and I'm gonna sort her into Ravenclaw because she's so young and even at such a young age, she has such an understanding of the world. She understood why Lysandra had to scar her face. I would have been terrified, but she knew what had to happen. Then she's very observant, which is a big Ravenclaw trait. And she was able to convince Lord Darrow to accept Aelin as the queen because she had been watching them for so long and saw the dynamics of how everything was supposed to happen. She's so smart and I wish we could have seen her grow up because wow, she would have been amazing. Next up we have Erevin. Now, Erevin is a Slytherin. And he, like Maeve and Erwin, I'm just gonna do all three at the same time. Maeve, Erwin, and Erebin are Slytherins and they're the worst things about Slytherins. Maeve sucks. She's like Bellatrix. And Erwin is just Voldemort with hair and a nose. Because he wanted world domination. Everybody had to be bog or balch or like whatever, or have like demon blood aka only pure bloods allowed but i'm not gonna lie i also thought about putting erwin in hufflepuff because he is doing everything because of his to bring his brothers back so like it's this loyalty to his brothers that really drives him also when may tried to seduce him he said no because she was his brother's wife so hufflepuff was tempting but he is voldemort with hair and nose Next up is Nethrin and Sartak. There's a reason why they bonded so quickly, I feel like, and it's because they're both a lot, like, they're a lot like, they both like adventure, they both are very brave, they're both very informal, or like, chill, I guess you could say. So yeah, they're both Gryffindors, and I actually really like them together as a pair. Separately, not so much, but as a pair, I think they're a really good match. And that's it for this video. If you guys want to see more sorting, let me know. I will sort 
all and any character you want. Lunar Chronicles, Mortal Instruments, Grishaverse, Percy Jackson, any and all, I'll do it because I am the Sorting Hat. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and comment down below if you guys agree with all my sorting or if you think they should go somewhere else. Don't forget to subscribe and see you all next time.